What's going on guys? So I'm gonna start from the apartment. Um, no, actually, if you guys want an apartment tour, let me know in the comments. I'll show you guys my Soviet apartment. But for now, we're gonna head out. What's going on here? It's kind of warm today actually, it's like, I don't know what's the temperature like. This is our Soviet building. Today's temperature in Chelyabinsk is 25 degrees Fahrenheit or negative 4 Celsius. Pretty cool. Pretty good actually, not gonna lie. Yes, Compared sir. to yesterday's negative 14 or whatever it was. What's going on guys? It's your boy Mo. My boy Amari here. Right now we're in Chelyabinsk in the Urals of Russia in the middle, middle of Russia. Basically central Russia. We're in the hoods of Russia. I want to call it the hood. What is it? Like the Alabama of Russia? Yes, sir. The Midwest or the, the central of Russia. This is our building. This is our Soviet building right here. Old ass buildings. Matter of fact, that building right there, I'll try and zoom in. Under every window, they still have the Soviet sign. Like the sign of the, um, right there. It's the, it's the, um, the crest and the star. That's what it is, right? Is that what it's called? Yeah. No, it's not the crest. Is it the crest or is it? I forgot what it's called. You guys know what I'm talking about. I'll zoom in. You'll see it. Anyway. So it's really warm today. As you see, the weather is really nice compared to like yesterday, like I said. The snow's kind of melting, but it's gonna get cold again this week. I checked the um, the app and it's gonna get back hella cold and hella snowy again. But not like this isn't enough snow, especially for where I'm coming from. So we've been in Chile Bins for about, how many days now? Five days, six days? It was a bit about, actually, about a week? nine days. Not in yeah. Uh, really? Yeah, it's been nine days already. I was kind of sick the first day, so I kind of, I kind of just went by fast. Look at this. Anyway, um, yeah, we've been here for over a week, and it's a small town. Nothing, not, not so much going on. But as you guys know, I moved to Russia to save money to live cheaper, so that's why I'm here. It's a cheap apartment we got. We got the apartment on Airbnb for just about four hundred dollars, so two hundred dollars a piece. The cabs are really cheap, a dollar um, anywhere you go. Food is really cheap. Um, I keep saying we gotta try this pizza place, but I don't know. I don't forget to try before we leave the city. So, right now we're headed to the center. I wanna show you guys something really cool here. Show you guys the center of the city real quick. And then grab a coffee and that's about it because we have food at home. So we're not doing much today. Just going out, get the blood going, walk a little bit and that's it. That's the flag of Chile Vince. I'm gonna tell you guys about it in a bit. It's pretty cool. So this right here is called Ice City. It's um, in the middle of the city, middle of town. Um, they bring this big cubes of ice or big pieces of ice from a lake. Somebody told us from a lake. I don't, you believe it is from a lake? Maybe, yeah. maybe, yeah. yeah so some are really cold. They cut up these big, things of ice and they cut them into designs and shapes so like these are trees i believe at the beginning when you walk right when you walk in here i'll show you guys so as you see here boom we got trees here and it's real ice like it's actually like ice like it's not going nowhere it's melting probably hella slow it doesn't take it doesn't melt that fast because it's pretty cold so it's not going nowhere anytime soon and then here we have the, what are these called, man? Anyway, this is the playground. So these are two wolves here. You see right here? These wolves are pretty cool. Right here. Oh, hey, the, the little coin fell. There was a coin here yesterday, remember? Yeah. It melted off. Probably got a little warmer, it melted off. So, and then there's this, I forgot what this is called. There's like walls and people, kids just see. You just go and like, it's like a, hey, what is this called? Like escape room, no. What is this called? This is like a, 
It looks like a military... No, not the military. The games where it's like a path. You gotta like find your way out. Like you get in, you can't get out. It's hard to get out. Anyway, I, I'll kind of tell you. I don't know. They have... Um, Some kind of game. Okay. Yeah. Real quick, I'll show you guys these slides. Look at that. They're sliding down. So they have like these slides made out of ice. And kids and adults actually just go up the stairs and they slide down. And then look, boom. Right there. Ooh, actually it's kind of fun. And then there's this one that's a smaller one for kids. So like people that don't like heights like me, they can do this. Actually, this isn't bad. I would do this. I, I might do this. I might come back and do it. So here's the, as you guys see, all the snow. And then here they got the Lenin statue. You gotta have a Lenin statue every city you go in Russia, Belarus, all these Soviet countries. I, at least the ones that still um, follow that uh, belief system in a way. But the Lenin overlooking the city. Let me get a selfie with him. So as you guys see, this is Lenin overlooking Chelyabinsk and everybody around here. Actually, what's crazy is I saw Bald and Bekov was here, you know? And I don't think, I don't think they saw the ice city, but they were filming with that. Yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't snowy. He was here in the, he was here, oh yeah, my people. He was here in the summer, as you see. So, Lenin overlooking Chelyabinsk and the people, blessing the people of the city. Like people come to people. That's the guy. That's our homie. Yeah? I swear to God. That, oh, shit, here's the kids. That's our homie, bro. That, oh, again? <laughs> I bro, slipped yesterday, you, imagine. Well, why were you walking? I don't know, because I was filming. Yeah. These are three, this is a three-headed dragon. Oh, look at this. Three-headed dragon, pretty cool. I want to go up here. Hold on. <laughs> I want to see what's up here. Oh, shit. Hey, I'm going to do this, bro. Hey, I'm gonna do this. You gotta film me though. You gotta go with the film me. This is red? Yes, yeah, film yeah. me. Go with Wet. My ass is wet. Did the little slide. I don't have nothing to like keep me going. So, um, what else? That's it. Just a little, you know, just a little center. Not too much going on. Kids, people. That's the homie from the show. My spot. We just don't want to say hi to him. This is the Christmas tree they got going on here. Christmas here was January what seven or eight? When yeah. was Christmas? Something like that. Because I came, I got here on Christmas. The Christmas is a little different than the U.S. So, um, and this is the. What is this? Oh, I don't see this. Hold up. Hold on. Hold up. Take a picture of me. But these babushkas gotta get the way. Oh shit, she heard me. Is it better if I say babushka? No. No. Not normal? As long as there is real babushkas, there's no doubt. But if they're young and you tell them babushka, then like there's a, a problem. Yeah. Well, they need to get out of the way. Oh no, they can be in the picture. Who cares this fuck? It's actually funny. Yeah. So, I don't know if you knew this, I didn't know this, but there's camels in the snow. These are winter camels. And let me tell you guys about the story of these winter camels. So, during the great trade era of the Silk Road, all the way from China to Europe, Chile Abyss was actually one of the major cities in this part of the world that the Silk Road ran through. And these camels what, was what they used to trade and bring goods and products into Russia or this part of the world, obviously. I didn't know that, but I guess they breed the camels to where they were able to survive in the winter. And this is what we have. And that's why when I showed you guys the flag of Chile Bansk, I'll put it on the screen again. This flag right here is the official flag of Chile Bansk and it has the camel on there. That's how iconic this camel is in the city and the history of the city. So that's kind of cool. I, didn't, I had no idea. I didn't know that existed. I didn't know uh, the effect about this city, so that's actually kind of cool. And this is uh, Chilyabinsk PD. 
We don't want to get in trouble with them. We're good. So this is the ice city of Chelyabinsk. And now we're going to go to, what is that called, bro? I forgot. What? That area. What was it called? Did it have a name? Oh, that's the downtown. That's downtown Chelyabinsk. This is downtown Chelyabinsk. This, this is where all the clubs and It had a name. Hey, ask her what's the name. Ask them what's the name here in Russian. What is the Did street name? Kirova. Ulitsa Kirova. Ulitsa Kirova. Yeah. Oh. Kirova Street. Okay. So this is uh, Kirova Street. Ulitsa Kirova. That's what it was. Because the, the other day somebody told me and I forgot. So that's where we're going now. Where all the clubs, restaurants, bars, cafes. Downtown Basically, Scottsdale. this is the downtown of this place. Downtown LA, downtown Scottsdale, downtown Toronto, wherever you're at. Let me know where you're at. Let me know if your downtown is nicer than this. But now we're going underground in the tunnel. Old ladies selling random stuff here. Musicians. This is a typical um, subway station or underground. S Look at this. These are the buildings. Lenin everywhere. You gotta have Lenin everywhere. And then you gotta have the Soviet sign everywhere. This one, boom. Everywhere. So, which way? You sure? Yeah. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Because I gotta, I gotta go up there anyway. And then, I don't know who this is, but it looks nice. Yeah. This is actually the exit to the downtown area. So right now, we're walking up the stairs to get inside the downtown. This is where it gets turned up on the weekends. That's where it goes down. So, this is the entry. And what's cool is, look, even here, they got a camel. I'm telling you, camels are really important here. Look at this, camels, boom. I don't know if you can see it. And this was built in 1736. This was when this was founded, 1736, 300 years ago. So let's keep going. Look at this. They got a statue of a cop. Pretty cool. They got statues everywhere. Russian police officer. That's the statue of a young lady. No, that's, a, that's not a statue. That's a little weird lady. Oh, I forgot. So in, in about what, 30 minutes? All these lights gonna turn on. So remember yesterday we got coffee and they turned on. Yeah. So as soon as we get the coffee, these gotta turn on. So on the way back home, real quick, I'll show you the same stuff but with lights. It's pretty cool. That's a different um, view. This is where all the clubs and bar bars are located. <laughs> all the clubs, all the bars, all the nice restaurants, everything you need is right here. Everything except HDMI converter. <laughs> Right? Yes, sir. I brought my PS5 with me and I haven't played in like a week because the TV is old and I don't have the HDMI. The TV has the AV, the, the what is it, yellow, white, and uh, red plugs. And I don't care about the quality, so I just want to convert that into HDMI and I don't have that. Yes, and sir. I can't find a shop that carries it either. We just couldn't find the right place. So um, I can't even find a TV. I was going to buy a used TV or a new TV. I don't care. I got to play my game. Got to play the FIFA, but can't find it. So. I haven't played in a week. I've just been trading on my phone. See, the lights already turned on on the other side. I don't know if you can see on the camera. On this screen, is really small on this, on this camera, so. I think you can. See, even here, they got uh, statues of camels and this man looks Indian to me, or from different parts of Russia. And you see right here, that's how important camels are to the city. As I said, um, the camels are really important to the history of the city with the imports and exports and all that. So they still hold on to it. And here we have, what do we have here? We have a pretty young lady looking at herself in the mirror. Oh, it's a real mirror. Oh, hello. Hello. Nice. Privet. That's it. This is a, looks like a firefighter, possibly. I'm not sure. Big statue. There's a lot of statues here. You could, you could literally walk in every town and see millions of statues, read about them, and record thousands of hours of information about every statue and what they stand for and what they mean in Russia and all these Soviet countries. And you will still not get done. I don't know if he's a, Firefighter, if he's a jet fighter, I'm not sure. Pilot, but we'll see what this place is. There's a flame over there. I want to go see what that is. It's for sure a memorial for war. 
they love memorials about the wars they had and everything they went through and i respect it in a way you know it's your country you gotta stand for you know everything that i went through in a way look at this I wish I could read and understand Russian so I could tell you what this says. And my boy isn't with me right now. Amari's not here, so I don't know. Wow, that's actually real. Like I said, just another one memorial. Um, I don't want to say just another to downgrade it, but I've seen so many so far just being here a week. And when I was in Belarus, I saw a lot of them. When I was in Ukraine, I don't know, I didn't see as much in Ukraine. Maybe, maybe I, well, I didn't travel around Ukraine that much, but in Belarus, I saw a lot. And from what I've seen in videos, and so far, Russia has a lot of them too. So. Anyway, let's see, um, oh, the lights turned on, so let's walk this way. As you see, the lights turned on, and I don't want to slip and fall. I slipped and fell yesterday. I got lucky, though. I don't have the camera in my hand, so I was fine. So these lights turned on. Um, there's nothing else around here. Just a lot of restaurants, like I said, and that's it. So let's go back and find Amari. Oh, oh so I, I don't know if I said this in the video, if I didn't. Um, so a lot of people ask me, especially here, like, why are you going to Chile events? The ones I know about Chile events, like, why are you guys going there? We rented an apartment for a month, and initially it was because it's so cheap. So initially I thought I could find a really, really cheap apartment, maybe $200 a month, and just live here really cheap. Uh, I could just focus on my um, uh, projects I'm working on and my videos. I don't have to worry about working, I don't have to worry about rent. But then we couldn't find anything cheap because we couldn't find any temporary places or places that were furnished. So we had to uh, get an Airbnb, which was still cheap, a little over, a little more than what I thought, but four hundred dollars, not bad, so two hundred each. So it wasn't bad at all. So that's why we're here, and it's really close to other cities. So we're going to Yekaterinburg, I think it's called. We're going there tomorrow, and Kazan. It's not too far. We're going there uh, next week. So we, we, we take advantage of having a place that's cheap, leave our bags safely, I don't have to travel with a lot of luggage, and go to other places, enjoy it for a couple of days, and come right back. So after this, I might go to St. Petersburg, I'm not too sure, but uh, we'll see. But for now, I'm here, I'm enjoying um, the small cities or small rural towns or cities of Russia. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it too. But look at all the snow, like, it's just amazing to me how much snow there is. Man, and it's really cold. Like I have gloves on, but it doesn't even feel like I have gloves on. My hands are just like sweating. And look, I told you guys the lights are gonna turn on. So all the lights turned on now that it's dark. We we're literally in there for like 15 minutes and the lights turned on. And it got kind of warmer. It feels kind of warmer now. But I'm not sure if it's because I was in there or it just feels warmer now or warmer now. Anyway, um, there's the lights. We'll walk back. So basically, this is the city. So it's this the main part from what we saw. There is a couple of food spots we go to. Um, this is it. This is Chelyabinsk for the most part. There's a couple of malls. We still we got to go to the mall that we went to the other day. Yeah. Uh, but that's it. It's not much. And a lot of snow. And then I don't want to slip. This isn't slippery. Like, I know the difference now. This isn't slippery. It's the ice when it's like. Watered up. Yeah, Water it's like wa it's melt, then it freezes overnight. That's when it's bad. This is normal. This is good. It's okay. I can walk on this. See, this is the slippery. You see it? Can you get a little? Yeah. Look. You see how it's darker? It's like look, it's white and it's dark. You can see it's like mud. It's like frozen up mud, kind of. It was it melted, turned into water, and it froze up again. So it's, it becomes really slippery. And they turn on the lights over here, so everything looks a lot better at night. And it's weird, it's not any colder at night, like it doesn't, because there's no sun. 
So it's not like it's warm during the day and then cold at night. No, it's the same weather. That's our camel, buddy. What is this? Oh, nothing. Oh yeah, just a lot of lights. Everything is turned on. There's a couple of food spots there. We're good on that. Um, yeah. We might actually go to a food spot right now. We might go to a... Hey, you want to go to a restaurant now? Yeah, let's go. So we don't have to go home and change and... Yeah, and yeah. we do the process. What is it, Uzbek? It's going to be... Yeah. It's Uzbek? We're about to go to a food spot. Um, Uzbek. It's a Uzbekistan restaurant. So... Former Soviet country. Former Soviet country. Current independent country. <laughs> this is Lenin overlooking the city. Morning to light. Tonight. Morning to night. What? Sunrise to sunset. Hey, you see these green lights? It's inside the ice. You see it? When they set up the ice, they, they had these lights set up in there. That's the... Assalam. That's the restaurant. English because they will charge you. No, they won't, but we'll see the menu. It looks too much, we'll leave. Wow. I like the decor. Hey, one thing that I hate about here with my beanie when I take my hair off, I mean my beanie off, my hair is messed up. I look like I just woke up with like terrible hair. And yeah, that's good enough, I guess. See, that's bad. That's just bad. I can't really do anything about it. Wow, the place is really nice. Beautiful decor. They got the hookah there, shisha. It's nice. I like it. I like the vibes. I don't know what I want to eat, bro. Everything was good. But I can't even see because of the reflection. Hold up. There's no picture of anything, it's just noodles. So I don't understand. So you gotta be translating for me because I don't understand what's going on. What are you in the mood for? I don't know. Soup, for sure. Oh, we. Oui. Oh, it smells so good. Wow. Wow. I wanna try it, I wanna try that. Oh my god, look at this. Oh my god. Yo. Mm. Wow. Yo, look at this meat. Oh my god. And then we got these lamb ribs, fried lamb ribs. Ooh, wee. Come on, baby. Wow. Damn, it's heavy. Holy shit, it's heavy. Wow, it's heavy. All right, the vertical of the food, the soup was amazing. The salad was good, the bread was all right. That's why I didn't eat it, I give you my other half. This was okay, it wasn't bad, it was just, it wasn't great. And then the, now the tea. The tea got cold, because it's been sitting here for a while. It's all good. Wait, I wanna, I need to use this napkin. How was the food, bro? Great. Everything good? Even the meat, you like the meat, Shashlik? I don't know, it wasn't that much too. It wasn't too much fat. Too much fat, no flavor, huh? No flavor. It was just fried, literally just fried. I didn't get me out of the time. It was good. The tea is good, but it's cold. That's fine. So the total for our food came out to 1705 rubles, which is about $22. Um, nice restaurant, nice fancy food. And um, let's see, two soups, a salad, the bread and the meat with the tea for $22. That's pretty cheap. Compared to the US, it's pretty cheap. For here, it's pretty reasonable. Let me know how much like this is in your country and a nice restaurant. Anyway, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'm gonna drink my tea. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.